doesn't take lunch seriously at work. We all know who serves the best Italian or Chinese near our office, don't we? In Tokyo, these eye-catching food trucks are shaking up the competitive lunch market with their mobility and dazzling menu. Everything from juicy rotisserie to Okinawan taco rice and vegan bento box to Hawaiian-style mochiko chicken, there's almost nothing you cannot find. Known as kitchen cars in Japan, food trucks and their smiley owners are popping up across Tokyo to feed the hard-working foodie crowds. Some operate from larger models, but many opt for compact types that suit skinny side roads and the tiny plots of land provided for pop-ups. The vehicles are custom fit into mobile kitchens to turn out meal after meal. Many have a built-in awning and are decorated with pictures of the delicious dishes. Regular customers take no chances. Using an app, they know exactly what trucks come to which locations on what day of the week. A key company behind this scene is Mello, a food and technology startup in Shibuya. Co-founders Masayoshi Ishizawa and Takuya Moriguchi are helping Tokyo's nascent food truck scene get into gear. It's a fresh modern take on the street food stands known as yatai in Japan, which tend to have a negative image of being dirty, dodgy and unknown. That was the prevailing public image of food trucks too. But Mello is revolutionising this mistaken profile by building the relationships between the independent, talented chefs and big property owners, offering leverage to help the latter rent out unused squares and car parks during lunch hour. And business is booming. The number of food trucks in Tokyo almost doubled over the last decade. Running a food truck is not a small gig. Some have honed their skills in Italy and France, while others have been operating a thriving business for nearly two decades. Their goal? To continue to serve their customers face-to-face -face at their own capacity. Small is beautiful.